Now, hundreds of Houston water customers have reached out to investigative reporter Amy Davis for help with your high water bills. But one customer's case took a life of its own. When we told you about 92 year old Navy veteran Jesse Lara's bill, Houstonian stepped up, joining forces for Jesse. Oh, he is walking. Praise the Lord. With a pep at his step. Look at your stairs, Jesse. 92 year old Jesse Lara made his way up this sidewalk. Hello, to the near north side Houston house he's called home nearly his entire life. A couple dozen visitors were waiting for him. Welcome home. Thank you. Volunteers who spent the last five months gutting and restoring Jesse's home. Hot, back breaking, strenuous work. And it all started with a phone call for help from his niece, Betty. Just, I saw you on TV and you were, I think uh, other people were reaching out to you about the bill. Jesse's water bill was thousands of dollars and past due. But to get to the bottom of it, we needed to investigate. When we first came over, you said, oh, do you have to go inside? We interviewed Jesse sitting on his porch on the chair, and then we interviewed you on the porch. But then when we got a plumber, we said, okay, well, we want to get video of the plumber checking it out. And you're like, eh, <laughs> do you really have to come in here? Why? I mean, his house was is so dated and so deteriorated. You know, it was beyond, it was overwhelming. It was beyond anything I could have done. Most of his floors were just plywood. Cardboard covered windows to keep the heat out. One bathroom was completely unusable. 24 seven plumbing tackled not only the leak that was causing Jesse's big bills, the Katie company repiped his entire house. I think more people should do this. I mean, you have somebody that's in dire need. At about the same time, Houston nonprofit, the restoration team and other businesses were signing on to help. Jesse got sick and had to go to the hospital Hi, while he worked to get healthy. Crews worked to restore his more than 100 year old home. So this was his first time back inside. Look at your bedroom over here. What? <laughs> Is that my bedroom? Jesse's room before was dark and cluttered. Now it's bright and open, like every room in his home. Oh. Ah, oh, darn. He can now easily move around his kitchen. New refrigerator? Everything is brand new, except this original sink. Volunteers made the new cabinets to fit it. Can't believe it. Thank God and thank all of you. Darn. I never expected something like this. Room by room, Jesse saw his new old home. I'll be darn. Thanking volunteers who thanked him right back. We thank you so much for what you did for our country and for all of us because it, uh, that you served, we are all here today too. This simple post on Facebook got the attention of Boots for Troops. I saw the post and I sent it directly to our founder, Jimmy, and actually he replied back. He goes, Joe just sent me the same post. He goes, find out what we can do, how we can help. The Texas State Militia. I'm a Navy veteran myself, so as soon as I heard that, I, I knew I, I needed to be here. To be able to give that back to him is, is just a remarkable thing, and it's a, it's a blessing. Jeremy Cover of Cover HVAC. When they came home, we're not treated the best, so... Uh, they didn't get a lot of recognition, so it's, it's a high time we, uh, we paid him back for that. And of course, the restoration team. He was very appreciative of any work that we had done for him. He didn't expect this, and he's overwhelmed right now, but he would have been fine if I would have showed up and swept his front walk. Volunteers built this wheelchair ramp. They rewired his entire home, insulated walls, put in new sheetrock, painted, replaced all of his flooring, all 18 windows and installed a brand new HVAC system. What I want to do is thank you all folks for doing this for me and God bless all of you and your families. The joy we get out of being able to see Jesse coming back to the house and seeing the surprise on his face is, makes it all worthwhile. It's amazing what we can all do when we come together. It kind of gave me a shock when I saw how different and then when I walk in here everything is different. Different good? Hard to believe. Yeah, I love it. I'm just so grateful and thankful for everybody that stepped in to help Jesse. Uh, he's gonna live now in comfort like never before.
and, and with dignity, you know, and, and safely. I believe there is a God, and I think God stepped in to help Jesse. And that is Houston. Jesse's home was the 400th Houston home the restoration team has repaired since Hurricane Harvey, and they do all of the work with donations and volunteer labor. If you'd like to donate, volunteer, or request help, you can find a link to do that on clicktohouston.com. You'll also see contact information for all of the other agencies and businesses that stepped up to help in case you'd like to give them your business. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC 2 News. Wow, that house looks great. Great job, Amy. Great job, all the volunteers as well. And we hope you will watch our 30-minute special joining forces for Jesse, streaming tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock on Click2 Houston and the KPRC 2 Plus app. And you can look back at the entire KPRC 2 Investigates Drained series, more than 40 in-depth pieces over the past year, right now at click2houston.com. And remember, if you have a story for KPRC 2 Investigates, call our tip line at 713-223-TIPS, or you can email investigates at kprc.com. We know Amy's going to get to the bottom of all.